Okay, so this is what I was referring to. Uh, you know, you can't really see the title, but uh, it's a program called um, Ohana 3DS. Um, that's what I was using for the Pokemon Evolve shit. Um, so basically, um, what I had here, um, where is it at? Okay, so we had the model files, which were in bin format for some stupid reason. I don't fucking know, man. This is just how they came to me. Uh, so we'll just do an easy one, Charmander. Alright, so here's your stupid little Charmander. It's wireframe. There's no textures on it yet. Obviously, that's done um, in Unreal. Um, so anyway. Um, shit, I gotta remember how to fucking do this. Uh, I think it's in skeletal animations. Um, okay, so, gotta import, and uh, we back out to the animations folders, which was this one. Um, basic. Charmander. Um, I had an order for the way that I did this, um, but I don't remember because it's been several months. So I'll just load them in that way. Okay, so nothing's named, obviously. Um, so you just have to go through and look and play them and see what the fuck kind of animation it is. Uh, so that's your standing animation, um, walking animation, running, um, talking, idle animation. Um, I think that might have been part of a sleeping animation. Uh, I don't fucking remember. We didn't use every animation. Yeah, okay, so that's when he falls asleep. That's when he's asleep. Uh, that's when he wakes back up. Uh, laying down. Uh, waking up. Um, there's a lot of like random cute cutesy animations and stuff that we didn't really use. Um, I'm trying to look for the okay. There's your attack, um, which Charmander just bites. He doesn't really do like a flame attack. If I had Charizard on here, he would have like a flamethrower type attack. Um, where's the fucking? There's your scratch. There's your T pose. Um, tail whip. Okay, so this is what, like, I had to figure this one out. This kind of got me the first time I saw it. This is a jump in animation. Actually, that might be jump out animation. No, that's right. Yeah, okay, so when you first, when, when you jump as a whole animation, it's three processes. It's the jump up, which is that, which is this. It's the mid-air, where you're at your apex of your jump. And then there's the fall back down animation. Three separate animations that have to be saved as three different animations for Unreal to be loaded. And it'll, uh, when you get into character models, it'll show you, like, it'll have those options where you have your idle animation, your jump in, your, your jump, um, your, your apex, and then your jump out animation. Um, it'll have sections for all of that. Um, but that's pretty much what I would do, um... And when I was done, like, I would just hit export. Um, no, maybe not export. Fuck, I don't remember what I did. It's been so long, dude. I, I don't even fucking remember what I did. <laughs> uh, there was a save. Maybe it was export. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I have so many of these exported that I just don't even fucking know. Where did I save this as? Yeah, okay, so see here, this is what I had before. Um, so we have attack one, we have the cuddle, the hurt, animation, the idle, the jump, the jump in, the jump out, the knock out, all of that shit. All of that's loaded into the Unreal Tournament, and then Mystic took it from there. I didn't have any process afterward, but yeah. So my job was to go through um, not only the original 151 Pokemon, but the entire 800 list roster uh, all the way up to Sun and Moon. Which I only got to the first 151 by the time all the bullshit happened. But 
Anyway, so this may be useful later, uh, at a later date when we're doing animations. Uh, if we get to that point, when we get to that point, it might be useful. The only problem I see with that is the fact that we don't have these models loaded in bin format, and I don't know what that requires because this was downloaded directly from a Pokemon model resource repository online. So um, they already had all of that shit set up. Uh, so anyway, that's basically what I did. 